um, three years ago, then the following year, uh, then last year we went to Europe and travelled extensively in Europe, and this year we felt it was most appropriate to come back to India and uh, and to spend time here. It's it's a great opportunity for all of us to to get to know the Sajogis in India and to build the relationship. So. Australia and India share so many things in common. Cricket is one of them. Yeah. <laughs> but the, uh, the growth of Sarjoga is well established in Australia as it is in India. And uh, so when we come here, we are always amazed at the reception we get from the Indian people. The generosity and the, lo the love they show us leaves us amazed. So we come here to to do to make a humble offering of music and to do the work of Sri Mataji by communicating the th what self-realization is and what meditation is and uh, the Indian people are, are always very generous and welcoming we, we all enjoy being here there's a lovely exhibition downstairs that the the Chennai uh, practic practitioners of Sajoga have put together and it shows the life of, of Shimadaji and, and she first came here in 1984 and so she worked tirelessly to, to, to provide this experience of Sahaja Yoga meditation to anyone and um, and we're you know very happy to, to assist now in that role and this is our first trip as Australian practitioners of Sahaja Yoga to the south southern India and uh, <coughs> as Colin said it's um it's wonderful to work together with with the the Chennai um, yogis, Sahaja yogis, and other yogis throughout southern India, and um, we feel that when we get together, that's the music of joy. Um, we talk about happiness and unhappiness, but there's a singular experience of joy, and that's what um, conveys through the music and particularly through the meditation. And so what you'll find this evening is the, the evening is a mus uh, an evening of music but also of meditation. So that experience of thoughtless awareness um, will be experienced by all the people that attend the program this evening. And we have been asked before why do we come to India. One important thing is that the culture of India is very compatible with the spirit. And when you've had your self-realisation and you're feeling your spirit, you can feel that increase in the joy of the spirit when you're in India non-professional but it's just that uh, awakening of your spirit increases your capability to play music and enjoy music and so very much not professionals at all but just we feel the joy of the music yes all of them are you know, we all have full-time jobs and we do this um, out of you know from during our time off really so there's a range of as as Lynn talked about John Smiley he's, he's a music teacher at school a high school music teacher and um, there are there's a couple of other teachers and we have um, company directors, we have um, nurses, um, I'm a lawyer. So there's a range of professions. All We're all, you know, very much ensure that we're part of society um, and we do this out of the, the joy that we feel in our heart. And we, there's, there's no money is ever charged for Sahaja Yoga, it's completely free. Yes, so say tonight uh, many people would come and they would get their self-realisation yeah. and then there would be follow-up programs, um, different uh, Sahaja Yoga events and you all come to know each other and um, nurture that relationship so the family grows bigger and bigger. Sri Mataji encouraged all of us. Uh, as Andre was saying before, in the 1980s, when Sri Mataji came to Australia, she brought a group of skilled Indian musicians with her. And she said to us that she would like Australians to, to learn these instruments and develop the skills. And fortunately, uh, we, we've all endeavoured to develop these skills ourselves. And... So it gives us the opportunity to participate in these tours as part of Music of Joy. Um, 
as part of our personal growth. It's it's something we are we are all self funded. We don't make money from this. But we are here as a, a, an act of generosity to to communicate the the truth of Sarj Yoga and the and this quality of mental silence that is something lacking in in people nowadays. Most people struggle to have a quiet mind and so we are all very committed to communicating this to humanity. Shumadaji spent uh, 40 years travelling the globe communicating this story. Again, at no cost to anybody, entirely free, all self-funded because this is one way that humanity can change. It's how we we can evolve to a, to a people who have a greater understanding of the spiritual nature of life. And as Lynn suggested, India is a place where the culture supports that in the first place. Sarjoga is has the greatest number of uh, practitioners in India. And so this is a place um, that will that has benefited and will continue to benefit from this knowledge of Sahaja Yoga meditation. That's right. I think your creativity is enhanced once you've got your your yoga. And so many people have found that, that they've um, written music, they've written poetry, painted, um, all those skills are, are awakened and enhanced okay. when you have your own centre. Mm. So again. Tonight you'll hear some of those original compositions. Um, again, the music of joy when they get together, they enjoy playing music and then, um, as Lynn said, you feel that inner inspiration and you want to express that. And so um, some of the music that you'll hear tonight is, is a mix again of the Indian traditional uh, music mixed with um, some even African music and um, just again original compositions so um, yeah that's again what makes Music of Joy original in that way I feel. Yeah, music from all, all countries and all cultures really. Anything that has a, uh, that moves your spirit is That's the motivating factual. very much not uh, wanting to have rituals so it's spontaneous I'm very interested in learning all kinds of music so I have not learnt Karnatic myself as I understand that's the two different forms, there's Karnatic and, and your standard ragas. So yeah, no, I'm interested to learn and we're interested to listen today to uh, the Karnatic musician that's performing this evening. So we're all very, yes. very much looking forward to hearing that tonight. And I understand, you know, Chennai has a great traditional uh, thirst for, for music and this, this, yeah, yeah, so that's wonderful. So um, it's really, I guess for us, it's, it's humbling and nice to know that there's such an appreciation of traditional music I within the city, you know, whilst Chennai is becoming a bustling city, it still maintains that roots to its um, to traditional music. Uh, some years ago, I did do some study of Carnatic music and developed um, a basic understanding of the, of the, the, s the musical style. It's it's one of those things that um, you don't learn Carnatic music or Hindustani music in in a short period of time. It is a lifetime ex of learning and growth. So we are all on that trajectory. That um, as we all continue in this on this path, as opportunities arrive, we we experiment or endeavour to f to learn more about musical styles and uh, the musical styles of India both Hindustani and Carnatic have, have a tradition of speaking of the spirit. And so this is where our 
what our goal is, is to communicate. And if, if it's through a traditional form or through a contemporary form, we will uh, endeavour to incorporate both into the, the performance. Would be very interested in uh, hearing further of Carnatic music. So, what, what exactly are the other plans for the future, or how do you plan to expand? Uh, we do like, uh, as far as music of joy and touring, every year we um, we together decide where we should tour. Okay. So that that's a goal every year to tour, um, to enjoy the music of other countries and bring music of joy mm -hmm. to that country. Um, Uh, we do have um, a number of events next year mm. planned. So we're having a number of international events in Australia that will be inviting um, uh, Saji Yogis from India and the rest of the world to come to Australia. Okay. Yeah, we spent a lot of time we spent a lot of time touring in other countries. Yeah. So next year we feel we'd also like to spend some time going through the main capital cities of Australia. Okay. Yeah, so we're really looking forward to that next year. Um, w w me across the world, many Sajogis uh, are learning uh, Indian dance, all forms of Indian dance. So it's something that we encourage our children to learn dance. Again, dance is like the music, it's a lifetime of learning and growth. And so ideally, we try to encourage our children to start learning young and to to develop an appreciation of the qualities of India dance, the beauty of the form, and the, the, the communication of the stories, the traditional stories um, that Indian dance p communicates. So uh, I, I think, as Lynn was suggesting, though, the, the in the subtle system, we have the Swadhisthana Chakra. This is the center of our creativity. When the we go through the self-realization process, this chakra is enlivened, enlightened, and that inspires us. It inspires us to learn more and to, to develop and grow in our creative qualities. So across the globe, there are yogis pursuing all sorts of different creative forms, uh, whether it be writing, communicating about Sajoga, painting, or even computer art. And uh, also a drama troupe too, called the Theatre of Eternal Values. Mm. Yeah, and, and that's that's uh, a group of Sajoga actors who travel extensively in Europe and England, and um, they perform the works of Shakespeare okay. and other great playwrights. Uh, but they also perform plays that have been written especially to convey the message of Saj Yoga. So uh, they are professional actors, and uh, so it's 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 the goal of all of us to, in whatever way we possibly can, communicate this message for the benefit of all mankind. <laughs>